Today we're going to learn how to use style sheets in Adobe InDesign to make your job easier. We're going to start by creating a new document within Adobe InDesign size 5.5 by 8.5. Next step is going to be to press Command D to import some text. We've got the first 15 pages of Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice. We're going to hold the Shift key down so that it will flow through all of my pages. Our next step is going to be to set up some paragraph styles. We're going to click the button to create a new style. And we're going to name it Now we're going to click on the basic character formats. And we're going to select our font. Now I like using Adobe Garamond. I feel like it's really easy to read. So that's what we're going to do this time. Um, we're going to make it 20 points. And we're going to let the letting be automatic here because it doesn't really matter. Um, then we can look and you can see there's lots of different options that there are within the paragraph styles. Um, you know, indents, tabs, all that stuff. But we're going to do a paragraph rule right now. And what I want to do is put a three point rule beneath each chapter heading. We're going to offset that by eight points. And it's going to convert that automatically to inches for us. Now we're going to apply the paragraph style we just made to the chapter and um, change that text box there. Now you can see that the body text is running into the rule on our chapter. So we're going to go back inside the paragraph style and change the space after the whole thing to 12 points. So after the rule, it's going to add 12 points. And that looks like it gives us enough space there so that the text doesn't run into the chapter name anymore. Next thing we're going to do is create a style for our body. So everything that doesn't fall into one of the other styles, so the majority of the body text is going to fall into this. So we're going to name it body text. We're going to go into the basic character formats. Now we're going to use um, the Garamond font again. So you just type G-A-R, and then we'll select Adobe Garamond Pro. We're going to change the size to 10 points. And we're going to use 13 points of letting. Now we use extra letting even though the automatic letting table says to use 12 because it gives us extra space between the lines, which makes it easier to read. Now the next thing we're going to do is create a paragraph style for the first paragraph of each chapter. Um, and we can actually tell it to base it on body text, which you could actually see back there in that last dialog box right there. So now we're going to go back to um, drop caps. We're going to have a drop cap. So it's going to be a big letter that stretches three lines. It's going to be the first character on each one of our paragraphs at the beginning of each chapter. Next thing we're going to go ahead and do is select all of our text. And we're going to apply our body text style to that. That way, we can go back and change the things that aren't body text. But since the majority is that, that's what we're going to use. Now we're going to press Command F to open up the Find and Change and type in Chapter. And find all instances of the word chapter, as usually it'll correlate to a chapter number. So we're going to change it to the chapter style. Find the next one. And now this one has to be made into its own paragraph. So we're going to insert a hard return there and change it again to the chapter style. Now we're also going to press the Enter key. And remember, that's the Enter key as opposed to the Return key. The Enter key is located right next to your numerical keypad. That's going to force the um, bit of text to go to the top of the next blank page. So again, we're going to highlight it. We're going to change it to our chapter paragraph style. And then we're going to press the Enter key to move to the next page. Now you can see we have chapter 1, 2, and 3 up there. So I actually forgot to add in the drop cap on those first few chapters. So I'm going to go back, highlight the first paragraph of each chapter, 
and change that style to the first paragraph of chapter style so that it adds that drop cap in for us. So now we're just going to go back through the document using the find and replace and creating our styles for each chapter and each first paragraph of each chapter so we get our drop cap in there. Now it's important to remember that when you apply your chapter styles or any paragraph style for that matter, you need to create a separate paragraph before you apply the style or else the style will be applied to the entire paragraph as is the case in chapter 4 right here. The next thing we're going to do is edit our body paragraph style. We're going to click on indents and spacing and add eight points of space after the paragraph so that we get that space between our paragraphs. This is going to make it easier to read. You may remember that our first paragraph of chapter style is based on our body text style. This means that the change we made in indents and spacing carried over automatically. Next thing we want to do is make that drop cap a little more interesting. And we're going to do that by creating a character style for it. We're going to create a new character style and we're going to name it Drop Cap. Next we're going to click on Basic Character Formats. We're going to do Adobe Garamon Pro, but this time we're going to do an italic font style. Next we're going to choose the size. We're going to do 18 points. Next we're going to click on Character Color. and We're going to make it a cyan color. We're going to press OK. And now we're going to go back and do our paragraph styles. Go to first paragraph of chapter, go to drop caps and nested styles, and change our character style to drop cap. When you press OK, you'll see that that is automatically changed to our new drop cap style. Now the only problem that we have with this new drop cap style is that it extends into our chapter title. So we're going to edit the chapter heading style, go to indents and spacing, and gives ourselves a little more space. We're going to try a quarter inch with preview checked and we're going to see how it works. Now you can see that's not quite enough so we're going to try a half inch and just keep playing with it until we find one that we like. Now it looks like 0.75 inches is going to be about right so we're going to press OK. Now I'm going to go over the document one more time and see if there's any last minute changes that I want to make. Now looking through it, I like the way the spacing looks, I like the way that the font looks and the font size, but what I don't like is the way that that blue drop cap looks. So I'm going to go back into my character styles, double click on drop cap, and I'm going to change the character color to a deeper red color that I have in my palette. After checking the preview box, I think it looks good, so I'm going to press OK. That wraps up our demonstration of paragraph styles and character styles in Adobe InDesign. Thanks for watching.